Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at units of measurement in Illustrator, how you can set them when you're creating a document, how you can set them for Illustrator in general, and what happens if you make a document that is the wrong units of measurement, how you can change them. So I'm here in Illustrator and I'm going to create a brand new document. So I'll click Create New. Now my Illustrator is set up to work in pixels as a base unit. I'll show you how I did that in just a minute. But let's go and set up a document that is not in pixels. So I'm going to make it inches. Now before you go and type, for example, 12 inches here, you want to set your inches because as soon as you set inches, you've just lost your 12. So go and set your dimensions first and then go and set the actual value. So I'm going to make this 12 inches by 12 inches and I'll just click Create. Now one of the things that happens when you create a document using inches as its measurements is things like this. I'm going to just create a square here and let's go and do a transform on it. Effect Distort and Transform and then Transform. You'll see here that the horizontal measurements and vertical measurements are set in inches. And that is a very difficult measurement to use because it's just so big, you don't get a lot of finesse in it. So if you wanted to move it something like 12 points, you would need to be working in fractions of an inch. You could also type in 12 and then just do PT after it. And then you'll get the setting of 12 points and then it gets converted to inches. So you can use points or pixels or whatever in your measurements, but be aware that when you create a 12 by 12 image, regardless of the measurements that you previously set for Illustrator to use. In fact, dialogues like this are going to default to that inches. And so if you want to use other measurements, you'll have to type in something after the measurements. Let's do 100 points, PT for points, to be able to get access to those kind of measurements. If once you've created a 12 inch by 12 inch document, you want to go back to working with something like pixels or points, this is how you're going to do it. You'll choose File and then go here to Document Setup. Click on that and here are the units being used in this document. You can see it's set to inches. Well, I can go and set it, for example, to pixels and click OK. Now the measurements for things like the transform tool in this particular document are going to be in pixels and not in inches. So let me just go and grab this square again. Effect, distort and transform, transform. Here they're in pixels. A much easier unit, for example, for me to be using than inches. But of course, if you want to move it an inch, you're just going to type in one IN and then it'll move an inch, which of course is 72 pixels. So just be aware that creating a document using inches as the measurement is going to kick some of these dialogues that you're used to working with in other units into actually using inches, but you can change that using file and then document setup. Now, as for the units that typically Illustrator will use by default, that's a different setting. Go to Edit and then Preferences and go to Units. On a Mac, that would be Illustrator Preferences Units. And here is the units of measurement. Now at the moment it's set to inches. I'm going to set it to pixels. Stroke is going to be set to pixels as well. And I like to leave type as points, so I'll just click OK. Now that we've set the general measurements to pixels, the stroke to pixels and the type to points, let's see what happens when we create a brand new document. I'm going to create a document this time that uses pixels as its base unit, 1000 by 1000 pixels. Click Create, go to Edit Preferences, Units. Pixels are now the general unit in use and Stroke is Pixels, Type is Points. So everything is sticky from that point of view. But let's look and see what happens if we create a new document that this time is our 12 by 12 inches or something based on inches. Click Create, go back to our units and now general is back to inches. So you can see that the general measurement is going to be determined by how you set up the document in the first place. If you set it up using inches as your setup measurement, if you like, then you're going to be using inches in these dialogues unless you make changes to this. This is possibly not how you would expect Illustrator to work, so just be aware of it. It can be a little bit tricky. Before we finish up, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. 
In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator Trading at Udemy.com and there's a referral link for each of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.